Hello and welcome to Nice Work Pal. I'm at the bottom of this big building and behind the camera is Dawn. Say hello Dawn. Hello Dawn. Uh, we are at the Drury Hotel in Lake Buena Vista, right up the road from Disney Springs. And while we love a good Disney hotel, sometimes you can't stay at a Disney hotel and you need to find something else. We're always on the hunt for what is acceptable. So today we're trying the Drury. Let's do this. I would appear we're on the 15th floor. Oh my. We got the penthouse suite. Oh, we did? Yeah, 1501. Alrighty, 1501. Uh, enter. Little closet, little kitchen area, kitchenette as you walk in. Sink area, bathroom. Looks good. And the bedroom area. King size bed, nice little seating area, and we got a view of the parking lot. You get what you pay for. It's fine. It's not like we're going to be over here it looking out the window. Absolutely fine. I kind of like that it's on the 15th floor though, because even though it's not looking at anything special, it's kind of a nice view even though it's not pointing in the direction I would have preferred. But we, did not, we didn't ask for any special views or anything. We looked for a basic room. And we got a basic room. We got room. a basic room, but I will say this, it looks nice. It looks clean and modern and... Well, it's brand new. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I see so far. So there's actually a lot of amenities here. Um, there is popcorn. Is there a scoop? Oh, it's on the and side. Drinks. And drinks. Popcorn and drinks from four to six. And then there's going to be um, real food and alcoholic drinks at 5.30 until 7 p.m. All included. Breakfast tomorrow, too. It's kind of a good deal. So, yeah, mm -hmm. as I was saying, there's a, a lot of stuff that's included here food-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of hotels have free breakfast. This one has... Popcorn and soda from 4 to 6. And then at 5 to 7.30, there is some serious food and drink here. Uh, baked potatoes, baked beans, sliders, pulled pork. Um, there's a box over there that says hot dogs. That's dinner. I mean... There's and then, nachos and cheese. Yeah, that's right. There's going to be nachos. And uh, there's a bar. And each person gets three drinks. That would cost a lot of money if we were out having dinner. Uh -huh. um, so uh, on top of that, what's surprising is not only that they're doing this, but they're doing it in every other hotel on this street, I think, is charging resort fees. I've done some warnings about this before on some of these other hotels. They to, to compare apples to apples, you have to know what all the fees are, and a lot of the hotels have hidden fees, which makes Disney look like a bargain next to some of them. Um, uh, for example, I did a video on Wyndham Gardens. There was the price of the hotel, there was a resort fee, and there was a parking fee, and the resort fee and the parking fee, didn't know about them until I got there. Pretty much added 60 to 70 bucks to the bill per night um, if you were parking a car. Most people are. Um, this place is, was very upfront about their fees. There's a parking fee of $25 right now, um, but there was, there's no resort fee and it comes with all these amenities. To compare apples to apples here, you really have to know what you're getting. Drury's always been a little higher in the list of hotels when you're looking, but so far it appears to be very worth it. So, the, the food gates have been unleashed, and um, yeah, there's a little salad bar. It doesn't have very many fixins, but I'm making a real salad out of it. I'm gonna make a, this is, there's a lot of food here. I'm really impressed. 
Um, the beer's a little small, but it's a good IPA. And um, what's the IPA? Uh, I forgot the name. It's but it well um, IPA India Pale Ale. I forget the brand, but it, this is really good. The only other choice is Bud Light, but then there's a bunch of mixed drinks and wines as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, each, like I said, maybe a smidge small, but I get three of them. And you get three of them. So I know what that means. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. So there's all kinds of good food here. I made a little slider out of the whole court. Um, I also got myself a hot dog. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sticking to the healthy stuff, um, which is kind of what happens when I'm at a hotel. Don, you ate nice stuff. You ate salad and mixed vegetables. Yep, I had the salad. Uh, their fixings were tomatoes, croutons, cheese, and a, a few assorted dressing. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah, not bad, really. Like, you could make yourself a salad. There's hot dogs, there's sliders, there is um, all kinds of things here to eat that, like, would totally, totally make a meal out of this. Like, yeah, I also had um, mixed vegetables that were, you know, the frozen kind, come yeah. chopped up in a bag, um, and a baked potato. Yeah, and there's also soup here, um, which we didn't see until later, but it looked pretty good. It was like a chicken noodle soup with big, big pieces of noodle in it. It looked good. So far, I know there's going to be a lot of food here we can eat and drinks, and we're going to leave stuff. I know it. This is dinner. And it's worth it. Oh, yeah. This is worth it. Stay here. The rooms yeah. are nice. Food included. Breakfast tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 now I'm excited about breakfast tomorrow. I think this is going to get added to our, our list of good hotel alternatives to Disney. There's some hotels we don't like, and there's some hotels we like. Right around this area. Yes. Right on the street here. <laughs> Not a fan. Yeah. <clears throat> Over there. Settle. Only, only take the A-list suggestions we give you. Don't take any B-list suggestions. There's a couple places I would recommend right now. Uh, this is this is one of them. The other one we made a short about um, Spring Hill Suites and and uh, Town Place Suites, which are like sister hotels next to each other in Flamingo Crossing. And we really like those as well. No fees whatsoever, and it comes with a good breakfast, but, um, and also just nice facilities. Uh, it's a new up and coming area. Yeah. They're, they're just building things one right after yeah. the other over there. Because of that, and because of the less than stellar experiences I've had on the street here next to Disney Springs, I really wasn't ready to give Drury a, a, a good shot. Um, but we kept hearing nice things about it, so I'm glad we I'm glad we gave it a try because I think this is a, a great place to stay. It also helped that they offered you a coupon as soon as you tried to <laughs> click off their site. It's true. I I was looking for hotels, and to get the most information about the hotel, I initially went to their site, and as I navigated away, I got a hold on. Would you would you would you book if we gave you a discount? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's the name of the game. Is like, is it going to be a nice place? Is it going to be a positive experience? And is it going to be a good value? I mean, all of it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For hands down, absolutely. So breakfast was in the same location as the kickback from yesterday. The kickback was what we kept calling dinner. It's supposed to be just like hors d'oeuvres and drinks, but really like well, we made a meal out of it. Um, but the breakfast was also a pretty good meal. There was eggs, there was sausage, there was potatoes and pancakes, make your own Mickey waffles, fruit, you name it. Juice and coffee. Um, the only thing missing was the bacon. We but, noticed the bacon was missing, but that's because it's really expensive. <laughs> bacon probably would have been just demolished by that that crowd. Uh, but very good breakfast, 
Um, so all in all, we got a lot of value out of the food served here. Absolutely. Like two meals taken right out of the mix when you're away. Yeah. Absolutely. Two meals, well, drinks. Overnight. Yeah. Um, it just totally added a lot of value to what is already a beautiful property. A nice anyway, uh, yeah, the food added tremendous value to this steak. Oh, popcorn too, yeah. Popcorn was definitely like movie theater, freshly popped. Yep, they did not skimp. Not on the popcorn. Yeah, everything was good. Um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a five-star meal for any of it. No. It's, it's basic stuff, but there was plenty of it. And just, like I said, added a lot of value to what is already a beautiful property with a lot of great amenities. So the pool area is fantastic. There's a nice big pool. There's a hot tub. It's all right outside the, the main entrance of the hotel on the backside of the, the check-in area. There's a nice uh, splash pad. Oh yeah, there's a great splash pad area as well. A little something for everyone. There's towels out there. It's super convenient to the, the bar. It's um, got a nice view. Oh yeah, beautiful view. Here in the hotel, this is the kitchen and bar area. They're serving drinks and meals um, outside of the stuff that they're giving away for free. So there's a lot of great amenities in here. Um, and right around the corner, a little marketplace shop. There's all kinds of things here. There's even convention space and a business center. Uh, we also noticed that they, they do have uh, a free Disney shuttle. A lot of hotels have something. Uh, it's not always free, so be aware of that. But this one is. And that is gonna do it for us today from the Drury Hotel. I really, really, really wanted to say the Drury is out on this one, but it's not. We liked it a lot. It was a great <laughs> place to stay. Um, we'll add it to the list. Uh, we've only got two or three places that we would recommend at this point, but as we find them, we'll let you know. Um, yeah, there's been a couple disasters, but this is not one of them. This place was super nice. If you're gonna stay on this street, this is the place you stay. We wanna make sure that if you come down here and you know you are struggling to find a place, you have a good place to start, because there are so many. Like pulling up the list for Lake Buena Vista or the Disney World area, it is mind-numbing how many hotels are here, and the price ranges go from $30 to $3,000. I wish a $30 hotel room would work out, but... Uh, you get what you pay for, and there's usually hidden fees on top of that, so that's, that's going to do it for us for today. Dawn, how did I do? Nice work, pal. seconds. All right. That's what she said. <laughs> this bus is in the crosswalk. That's strike one. <laughs>